people are all aware of what's happening over in the Ukraine right now. Uh, they're under attack from Russia. And people have asked the question, is there any significance to all of this prophetically? Let me pull the camera back and say this. I believe we're living in the last days. I believe Christ could come back at any moment. There are signs of the times the Bible tells us to be looking for. And in fact, Jesus likened it to labor pains in a woman who's ready to give birth. The idea being the closer they get together, the closer you are to the birth. And as we see more signs, more things happening, they're reminding us Christ is coming back again. Let's go to Matthew 24. What did Jesus say? In the last days, there'll be wars and rumors of wars. So this is war on a scale we have not seen in a long time. Uh, but let me look at another thing in Matthew 24. It talks about plagues being about us, around us in the last days. If the coronavirus is not a plague, I don't know what it is, a global plague. Also, I would add that the Bible warns of a world leader that will come and, and dominate and deceive people, ultimately, but ultimately reveal his true colors, and he's called the Antichrist. I believe a lot of this government overreach, imposing themselves on their people, uh, is a sign of what is gonna come later when Antichrist emerges on the scene. But let's come to the situation in the Ukraine. So many Bible scholars believe in Ezekiel 38, as it speaks of Magog attacking Israel, that that is modern day Russia. I could go and talk about that for you know 30 minutes, why they believe that's true. I happen to agree with that. But it says in Ezekiel that the Jewish people will be scattered and regathered in our land again. We know uh, during World War II, after the Holocaust, Jewish people from around the planet began to return to their land. And Israel officially became a nation on May 14, 1948. So that part of the prophecy has been fulfilled. But then scripture says a nation from the extreme north of Israel will march on her called Gog and Magog. If you look on any map, you'll see that is the geographical area of Russia. Ukraine used to be a part of the Russian Empire. They broke off in 1991. Are they gonna be part of Russia again? Could be. But the one thing that I think of is when I see the aggression of Russia, or Magog, if you will, it's a reminder that that's what we're gonna see when Magog attacks Israel. So Jesus said, when you see these things begin to happen, freak out because you're dead. No, he didn't say that. He said, when you see these things begin to happen, look up for your redemption is drawing near. Here's the bottom line, the takeaway truth. Bible prophecies are being fulfilled in our lifetime. It seems like we're seeing more things happen in real time closer together as the scripture said they would be. So what should we do? We should look up. And we should remember that God is in control. And we've read the last page of the Bible the last page of Revelation, and we win in the end. Let me add this. Let's all be praying for the people of the Ukraine. They're going through a time of great suffering right now. Pray for them. Pray that God gives to our leaders wisdom uh, as they're making very important decisions in the days ahead.